Good evening and welcome to Left, Right and Center. I'm Ankita Mukherjee. After a high-level center state meeting today, states have agreed in principle to reduce the age limit of who will be treated as a juvenile under the law from 18 to 16. As many fear that the minor accused in the Delhi gang rape case could get off lightly, we ask tonight, should there be a harsher law for juveniles? Also, after an FIR is filed against Punjabi rapper Honey Singh for his crude and offensive songs and an internet campaign to boycott him, we ask, is the rapper just an easy target? That discussion coming up later. But first, our top focus at a top-level meeting between the centre and the states, the latter agreeing that it's time to reduce the age limit for juveniles, meaning that anyone older than 16 could now be treated and punished as an adult. However, even if that law is changed, it may not be applicable to the Delhi gang rape case, where the minor accused, who claims to be a few months short of 18, could get away with just three years in a remand home. Nationwide outrage following the brutal gang rape of the 23-year-old Delhi Braveheart. Protesters demanding in one voice that the men who did it be given the harshest punishment that would serve as a deterrent for others. But the case has now sparked off an intense debate on whether some of our laws, such as the Juvenile Justice Act, need to be revisited. Five of the six accused in the case have been charged cheated by the Delhi police for rape and murder, amongst other offences. But the sixth accused claims to be a minor, and if that is proved right, the law says he cannot be sent to jail. His maximum punishment would be three years at a correction home with the option of bail. This despite the fact that according to police sources, he assaulted the girl most brutally. The allegations are the juvenile had subjected the 23-year-old to sexual abuse twice. He suggested that she be thrown off the moving bus without her clothes. But the issue seems to have divided at least the legal fraternity. But you can't keep tinkering with laws. You see, uh, after all, the main objective is to treat uh, juveniles in a different manner, which is a very noble objective and it is based on scientific evidence. It's time that I think that age of 18 is brought down and also a discretion is left with the judges to see you know whether the person committing the crime had the capacity to understand what he was doing. Many say it's a complicated issue that needs serious examination and while the government has at the moment left it to the Justice Varma panel, Many voices, even within the government, feel an exception needs to be made in this case. Juvenile is an exceptional case. You can give penalty as exceptional. Such a demand may have been made in India for the first time, but countries like the US and UK already make such an exception while dealing with juveniles charged with heinous offences such as rape, murder and gang-related acts. Another argument made by legal experts is that even if the law is amended to deal differently with juveniles facing such serious charges, no amended law can be applied retrospectively. But given how this case has shaken up the entire country, especially because of the unspeakable brutality that was involved, many in the public strongly feel that the laws as they exist are woefully inadequate. With Akanksha Kumar in New Delhi, Neha Khanna, for NDTV. Which brings us to our debate tonight. Should there be a harsher law for juveniles? Joining us tonight, Pinky Anand, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court, Ranjana Kumari, Director, Centre for Social Research. We also have with us Senior Journalist, Nija Chaudhary, Justice Ashok Ganguly, former judge of the Supreme Court. And we hope to be joined by Sudha Ramalingam, Senior Advocate and Member for People's Union for Civil Liberties in just a moment from now. But Pinky Anand, let me come to you straight away. Today, we've heard the states agreeing in principle to reducing the age for juveniles from 18, which is what it is now to 16. Do you believe that this is the correct first step or do you believe that we need to look at a harsher law for juveniles altogether? Uh, see, the point is by reducing the age, if that is the uh, discussion process, would by itself mean that they become amenable to the criminal justice system. So it's not as if you require, you know, the minute we keep talking about more and more laws or different laws, it results into a totally different uh, situation and I think it stalls the process of justice. So I think the situation today has shown as much as several other incidents before that the age of a person who commits a, a crime 
cannot, that person cannot really be let off only because of his age. You really need to consider whether criminal responsibility is different from civil responsibility. And particularly in cases of heinous and violent crimes, you really need to reduce the age because of today's transitional <coughs> phase of how the youth have gone, how the age of maturity might be considered to be earlier than uh, 18, which was the age fixed by law so far in India. So I do think we need to really have a relook and look at the high proportion of juvenile crimes. I believe they have risen from 2001 to 2011 by almost 33 percent in particular reference to rape. Now if that is the situation, we really need to consider whether we need to amend the law regarding the age. Well, I think that's a horrifying statistic, A, the 33% rise in uh, cases by juveniles in just 10 years, and the fact that rape seems to be the biggest crime uh, within that uh, uh, particular genre. Ranjana Kumari, do you believe that perhaps, at least in exceptional cases, uh, the, the, the law needs to be re-looked at? Well, uh, there are two issues. Uh, one, of course, the uh, the moment of the uh, the issue. That is that everybody is very angry, very upset, and stories have travelled from the police to people that how horrendous this uh, young person was, who was not even a you know, 18 year old, uh, and how what was his role in the whole of this incident. So people are angry, and there is a, a immediate reaction. But let's not forget that there is a larger uh, picture about juvenile being framed. Juvenile can be younger people. Can can be you know brought into these situations and all these stories which have come from the police and all the act. But do you believe so, at least in this case, no, since this is what well, has brought it up, this well, is a case where somebody has subjected this girl to brutal torture eventually leading to her let's, death. Let's not forget that uh, the, the age still is not established. Maybe he's over 18 and police is trying to ascertain that through the medical uh, test. But, but at the same time, arbitrary no, also? No, I mean, me, if he's me, 17 and 5 months or 17 and 6 no, months, how is that no, different no, from being no, 18? if you ask my opinion, I would like to st uh, you know, make him stand in front of India Gate and I will shoot him. But the thing is that we are bound by <laughs> certain international convention. There is something called uh, International Convention on Child Rights and that's where the whole Juvenile Justice Act was uh, emerged and that's based on that. And globally there is a kind of agreement that uh, you know 18 is the age below which you have to establish the age of the uh, uh, you know uh, as a child and if that is the age for the Rangina, child. I, I, children, I, I'll disagree I, with you to some extent yes. on the global uh, issue because no, no, even let under me, let the me UN just, I, I understand let me just complete that I'm just saying that. So I would think that in the case of such crime which are absolutely the kind of crime that we are uh, hearing about and we know about this person. It could be that law makes a little bit of uh, exception, but by and large I think before we really start bringing the young people into the same net of the law and start, there is vulnerability of young people, you know, how much you can bully them, push them, police can arrest any very young person and can make them confess any kind of crime. Forget about just this Ashok Gangli, let's, yes. uh, let's So I think we have to be very cautioned about it. We right. cannot just be uh, carried away by emotion of the moment and say that let's change Juvenile Justice Act and let's get all the younger ones uh, brought into the net of the law. I think we have to be very, very cautious. Just India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for Retina display. Full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.